everyone, it's Amy. I'm here today to, to give you a workout focusing on strength and flexibility. We'll be doing a lot of dynamic movements that work multiple muscle groups at once, focusing on strength and flexibility. We'll finish with a static stretch. Let's begin. Legs about hip width apart, slight bend in the knees, stand tall. Shoulders are going to roll, shrugging forward and up and forward. Three. Four, we have 10, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to reverse that shrug, roll up, down, and back. Two, opening out the chest. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Now we're going to make a fist. We're going to hit the fist shoulder level in front, low behind. Thumb side on each end. Front, back. Opening the back, now chest and shoulders. Front, back. Front, back. Give me five, back, four, back, three, back, two. One more time. Release the arms to the side. You're going to look to your right side and center left center keep the shoulders relaxed loosening up that neck right center left center stop take the head dropping toward the one shoulder to the right center and left center loosening up those trapezius muscles center and left center we're going to reach up tall toward that ceiling squatting down moving the hips back and up Two, using the legs and core. Three, reaching tall. Four, we have ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Stay tall on ten. We're going to bring opposite elbow to knee, right knee first. Lift, switch one. Lift, switch two. A little balance. Lift. Switch three, using that core to lift that knee. Switch four, lift. Switch five, lift. Switch six, lift. Switch seven, lift. Switch eight, lift. Switch nine, lift. Switch ten, reaching tall. We're back on a squat lift. We're going to add a heel lift, reaching up. Take it down, lift those heels. Down, up, three. Down, up four, down, up five, sit, reach tall six, sit, reach tall seven, down, up eight, down, up nine, one more, ten, drop those heels, open the arms straight out from the shoulders. We're going to lift that right outer thigh, so draw those legs close. We're going to lift up and lower. If you want more of a challenge, swing it across. Three, and cross. Four, lift five, working the hip and thigh. Six, working balance. Seven, and flexibility. Eight, nine, and release ten. Open back up. Left leg's going to lift. Lift up, down. You could add that swing if you like. Two, lift, swing three, lift, swing four. Lift, swing five, lift, swing six, lift, swing seven, lift, swing eight, lift, swing nine, lift, swing and release. We're going to lunge laterally. So we're going to step out, reach opposite hand and knee or thigh, lift up and switch. You're stretching those thighs and working them at the same time. Three, four, and Five, up. Now rotate, look, six. Look toward that hand that reaches back. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go ten more of these. They feel so good. Ten, up, nine. If you can, let's reach a little lower. Eight for the shin or the foot. Seven, six, up, five. 
keep the weight in that heel. Four, moving the hips back. Three, two, one more time. And release. We're going to step out wide. Toes out. Weight in the heels. When we come down, those knees are over the ankles. We're going to reach up. Now, when we plie down, we're going to reach under. You're rounding the back, engaging the abdominals. Up and switch. Up. Right. Up. Left. Up. Two. Right. Up. Left. Up three, right, up, left, up four, right, up, left, up five, right, up, left, up six, right, up, left, up seven, right, up, left, up eight, right, up, left, up nine, one more each side, right, up, left, up ten. Now we have a plie. We're going to come down. Hands are behind those thighs. We're going to bend to the right and then left. Bring it center and back up. Keep that posture. Use that core and left, center, up, down. We're strengthening the core and legs and stretching at the same time. Down, right, left, center, up, down, right, left, center, up. Let's go five more. Five, right, left, center, up, four, right, left, center, up, three, right, left, center, up, two, right. Left, center, one more time. Down, right, left, center, and up. We're going to open those arms straight up from the shoulders. Reach the fingertips long. We're going to turn that left foot into about a 45 degree angle. Right foot out. Those heels are on the same line. This knee never passes the toe. We're going to lunge into that right leg and then straighten. Two. And straighten, breathe. Three, exhale, straighten. Four, straighten. Five, straighten your range of motion. Six, straighten. Seven, straighten. Eight, straighten. Nine, go one more time. Ten, those legs are straight. You're going to drop that right arm down. Palm forward on that left hand, reach up. We're going to keep those legs as straight as we can. Slide down that leg only as far as you can without bending those legs. Use that core and reach to lift up. And sliding down. Exhale up. If you can, rotate the head. Look up toward that hand. And up. Inhaling down. Exhaling up. Inhaling down. Exhaling up. Inhaling down, exhaling up, inhaling down, exhaling up, inhaling down, exhaling up. Give me two more, slide down, lift up one more time, down, and up. Open the arms out, rotate forward back into that turnout position. We're going to bend those knees into a plie. Drop the arms. Circle around. Two. We only have five. Three. Four. Five. Open straight up. Palms down. Thumbs forward. Angle that right foot in 45 degrees. Left foot out. Remember that straight line. Heel to heel. Lunging into that left leg. Straightening. Two. And remember when I'm lunging. Three, this knee never passes the toe. Four, if you need to, step wider. Five, straighten. Six, straighten. Seven, straighten. Eight, straighten. Nine, one more time. Ten, now those legs are straight. Drop that left arm down. Reach that right arm up, palm forward. 
Sliding down that left leg as far as you can without bending it. And lifting up using that core. Inhaling down. Exhale up two. Inhale down. Exhale up three. And down. Up four, going for ten. Slide down. Exhale up five. Inhale down. Exhale up six. Sliding down. And up seven. Sliding down. Lifting up eight. Use that core. Breathe. Down. Up nine. One more time. Down. Up ten. Open the arms up. Open those legs up. Toes up. Dropping the arms under as you plie. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Beautiful job. I'm going to step in. Now I have a set of weights here. Light set of weights. If you don't have weights, you could use water bottles or soup cans. We're going to stack those weights shoulder level. Now I'm going to be doing a press up with those mm -hmm. weights like I'm reaching to put something in an overhead bin to go on a trip. And I'm going to add a squat to that. Push up. Down. Up two, going for ten, down. Up three, down. Up four, move those hips back, down. Up five, down. Push up six, down. Push up seven, down. Push up eight, down. Push up nine, down. Up ten, bring those weights in, down. Now I'm going to be doing a bicep curl as I Come up from a lunge. The right leg's going to go back. Curl up. Two. You can keep the thumbs up or you can rotate those hands. Three. Again, we're using those legs for strengthening as we use the arms, strengthening the upper body. Six. Legs and arms. Seven. Core always engaged. Eight. Nine. Ten, step hip width apart. Palms in, back to that squat press. Take it down. Push up. You can keep the palms in here as well, too, or rotate at the top. Three. Down. Exhale up four. Down. Up five. Down. Up six. Down. Up seven. Down. Up eight. Down. Up nine, one more. Ten, bring those weights in. Down, this time your left leg lunges back. So we're going to lunge back, curl up either hammer stuff or rotate at the top. Two, down, up three, down, up four, down, up five, down, up six, down, up seven, down, up eight, down, up nine, down, up ten. Lower those weights. We're going to squat to lower the weights. I'm going to switch up to a band. We're going to step those legs hip width apart with that nice posture. I'm holding my band shoulder width apart. I'm raising up high and I'm pulling out on the band and down to the chest at the same time using those upper back muscles. Two, going for ten. Three, four, keep those shoulders dropped. Five, nice tall posture. Six, seven, eight, keep control of that band. Don't let it boomerang back. Nine, Ten. We're going to lower that to shoulder level. Now, I want to be able to keep my arms straight and pull straight out. If that band's too tight, I'm going to loosen up a little. So pull straight out, middle knuckle to the sidewall. In. Two. Return. Three. Return. Four. Exhale. Five. Squeeze between those shoulder blades. Six. Imagine you have a pencil. Seven, between your shoulder blades. Eight, and you want to grip that pencil. Nine, ten. Now we're going to lower that down. 
We're going to reach up. As we reach up, pull out, open, straight up, stretching the front of the body, up and down. We only have five. Up, open, out, up, down, two, up, pull it apart and open, up, down, three, up, pull apart and open, up, down four, one more time, up, pull it apart, open, up, down. I'm gonna slide my hands back into shoulder width, grip that tight, raise up for that lat pull down again, pulling apart, down to the chest. Two, three, four, five, Seven, always controlling that on both directions. Eight, nine, ten. Lower to shoulder level. Again, I'm gonna slide my hands a little bit wider. Pull it apart. Return. Two, I'm really starting to feel that, are you? Three, upper back and shoulders. Four, five, starting to shake. Six. Seven, eight, nine, one last time, ten, lower that down, and then reach up, back to shoulder level, and open, up, and down, up, pull apart and open behind, up, and down, three more, be careful with this, pull it apart, and then open, up, and lower, two more, up, pull apart and open, up, lower down, one last time, up, pull it apart, open, up, lower down, beautiful job, we're going to grab our mats or a towel if you don't have a mat, you'll be using your hand weights for the next part, so we're going to have a seat, and I have those hand weights right here, we're going to grab those hand weights and use your abdominals as you roll down. So slowly roll it back. My palms are facing in, my arms are straight up. I could choose to have those legs hip width apart. I'm still engaging those abdominals or to increase the challenge knees over the hips, they could remain there or they could open with the arms. Slight bend in the elbows, the arms are gonna open and I'm gonna squeeze like I'm hugging a gigantic oak tree. If you like, you could add those legs opening, closing. We're getting a stretch on the open and strength on the close. Four, close. Five, exhale on the close. Six, close. Seven, close. Knees are directly over the hips. Eight if those legs are raised. Nine, close one last time. 10, close, I'm gonna plant one foot at a time, hip width, arm shoulder width, working the back of the arms, I'm bending the elbows, and as I straighten, I'm squeezing through the back of the arms. If you like, on the straighten, we get out of bridge. So you're gonna bend, and then I'm gonna lift those hips as I straighten the arms. Bend, straighten two, make sure if you add that bridge, you're keeping that upper back on that mat, three, Head in line with the spine, bend, straighten four, bend, straighten five. So now working the butt and thighs, straighten six with the back of the arms. Bend, straighten seven, bend, straighten eight, bend, straighten nine. One last time, lower those hips, keep the legs where they are or bring one knee up the other into tabletop, slight bend in the elbows. Opening the arms, open the legs if you like. Close one, open, close two, open, close three, open, close four, open, close five, open, close six, open, close seven, open, Close eight, open, close.
close nine one last time open close ten if those legs are up plant one foot the other hip width apart arm shoulder width apart bend those elbows weights are beside the ears straighten the arms if you like add that glute raise or bridge and bend straighten two bend straighten and lift three bend straighten and lift four bend straighten and lift five bend straighten and lift six bend straighten lift seven bend straighten eight bend straighten nine bend straighten ten if you added that bridge gently lower those hips now we're going to bring those arms close together weights together if that's too much you could lower one weight Hold the other weight with both hands. We're going to be reaching those arms overhead. As we do, we're going to be lowering that right leg. We're working the core as we lower that right leg and reach over. Lift one. Inhale as you lower. Exhale up two. Keep those abdominals engaged. Exhale, lift three. Lengthening and strengthening four. Inhale, lower. Exhale up five more. Down. Up one. Down. Up two. Inhale to lower. Exhale up three. Down. Up four. One last time. Down. Up five. Now I'm going to bend those elbows and I'm going to set those weights overhead temporarily. I'm going to bend that right knee. Take that right arm out at a diagonal. Bring the left fingertips behind that head. You're going to twist toward that knee and extend that leg out. Inhale, twist. Exhale up. Twist and extend three. Twist, extend four. Twist, extend five. Twist, extend six. Getting those obliques in there. Twist and stretch seven. Twist, extend eight. Twist, extend nine. Now on 10, you're gonna release that foot down. We're gonna reach overhead for those weights. Keep those elbows bent, core engaged. Pull those elbows in and then reach up. We're gonna take that left leg up long and tall, reaching those arms over as you lower that leg without arching that back. Exhale up, so only take it as low as you can without arching the back. Exhale up two, down, exhale up three, inhale down, exhale up four, down, exhale up five, down, exhale up six, down, exhale up seven, down, exhale up eight, down, exhale up nine, one last time, down, up 10, bend those elbows, set those weights down overhead. Bend that left knee, take that left arm out diagonal, right fingertips behind that head. Twist toward that left knee, stretch it out as you lower. Twist and extend. Three, exhale as you twist. Four, and open up. Five. Seven. Don't forget that breathing. Exhale. Eight. Nine. Now in and release on ten. Beautiful job. From here, I'm going to open the arms straight out from the shoulders. You can keep the palms up or down. We're keeping the back of the shoulders down. The knees and feet are together. You can keep the legs here and move those legs side to side for windshield wiper or for more of a challenge knees over the hips. We're going to inhale as we move those knees to the right. Exhale, use that core to lift. Inhale, knees left. Exhale, lift. Make sure you keep those shoulders glued to that mat. Take it right. Exhale up, eyes toward the ceiling. Left. Exhale up. Inhale, right. Exhale up. Inhale, left. Exhale, inhale right, exhale, inhale left, 
exhale up. I'm only taking those legs as far as I can without lifting that opposite shoulder. Take it left, exhale up. Inhale, right, exhale up. Inhale, left, exhale up. Just give me one more each side. Inhale, right, exhale up. Inhale, left, exhale up. Plant one foot, the other. Now my palms up on that left arm because I'm rolling to the left. So I'm gonna roll to the left and you can place that hand under the head or keep the arm down with the head resting. My knees are bent, there's a straight line from heel to hip. We're gonna open that top knee, it's called clam. Open, close. Imagine you have something resting on your thigh, you're pushing against it. Three, strength and flexibility at the same time. Four, close. Five, close. Six, close. Seven, close. Eight, close. Nine, one more time. Ten. Now from here, you're going to extend the knee, but this top knee remains over the bottom. I'm going to point my toe. To do a tiny circle forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Now reverse that. Five, four, three, two, one. Bend that knee. I'm going to press with that top hand to lift. And I'm going to bring my legs around, switching sides. So. Lay on that side again, hand could be under the head or you could extend the arm top hand in front, your choice. Knees are bent, heel to shoulder in a straight line. Open that top knee, close. Two, close. Three, breathe, exhale as you open. Four, five, open as wide as you can without rolling back. Six. And again, imagine you have something sitting on your thigh. Seven, you're pushing it away. Eight. Nine. Ten. Knee over knee, extend that top leg. Toes pointed, little circles forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Now reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. One, bend that knee. We're gonna roll to the abdomen next. Now I still have these weights in the way, so I'm gonna move those over. So I'm gonna roll to my abdomen, and I'm going to extend my right arm. I'm gonna rest the forehead on the left hand. I'm reaching with that right arm, and I'm gonna reach with the left leg and lift at the same time. Up and down, we have 10. Two, lower. Three, exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Four, lengthening. Five, not just strengthening. Six, really reach in opposite directions with the seven. Eight, nine, ten. Now I'm gonna switch, so rest that chin or forehead on that right hand. Extend that left arm, right leg, left arm. Reach as you lift up. Two. Three, strengthening the back of the body. Four, but lengthening as well. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release from here. I'm going to bring the arms alongside the hip. Palms to the ceiling. Legs are anchored. Lift the chest and shoulders, keeping that head long from the spine lower down so we're strengthening the back reach and lift so now i'm sliding those arms down and lower exhale up inhale down exhale up inhale down give me five more five lower down four again exhale on the up three Inhale on the down. Two. One. Release. We're going to bring those arms around. 
lift the chest, bring the elbows directly below the shoulders. I want those shoulders relaxed. Take a deep breath. With the exhale, push the palms down. Straighten the arms only as much as you can without shrugging. So keep the shoulders relaxed. Feel that lengthening in the abdominals. Now we're working into our static stretches. Relax down. Slide all the way down. Circle those arms around, hands below the shoulders. Lift that butt. Push up. Sit back towards your heels. Now remember, if you can't be on the knees, you could roll to your side to come up. We're going to our side anyways. So we're going to draw those hands in toward the knees, rolling up. And I'm going to turn. It would be your right side, right elbow below the shoulder. You're going to reach for that left or ankle. Draw back. Option one. Option two, bring that right foot against that left thigh. Hold it in place. You're stretching the front of that left leg, that quadricep muscle. Beautiful job. And release. Before we go to the other side, we're going to have a seat. You're going to bend that left leg. You're going to step over the right. Twist to your left, take that left arm behind you, keep that shoulder down. You could hug that right leg in with the hand or take the elbow behind that leg, twist through. Look over that left shoulder, spinal twist. Feel that stretch in the hip as well as opening up the front of the body. And release, we're gonna extend both legs, hinging from the hip, not the waist, Slide forward as far as you comfortably can, stretching the back of those legs. If you're able to, you could grip the toes, give it a gentle pull back, and get a deeper calf stretch with those hamstrings. And release out. We're going to bring the legs to the opposite side. So now that left elbow is below the shoulder. Reach for that right foot or ankle. Draw back. Heel toward the buttocks. You could stay here or bring that left foot to the front of the thigh. Make sure you're staying lifted. Don't sink down. Chest lifted. And release. Once again, have a seat. This time your right leg's bent. Step over. Twist. Take that right arm back. Again, hug either with the hand or draw that elbow behind that leg. Twist through. Always keeping that nice, tall posture. And release. Extend those legs once again. Hip hinge. Slide forward as far as you comfortably can. Again, if you like, you could grip those toes. Give it a gentle pull back. And release. We're going to straddle those legs, opening out those inner thighs. Sitting tall, you could stay here or, again, hinge from the hip, stretch forward. Breathing comfortably through the stretch, never hold your breath. Deep breath, exhale, roll that up. We're going to bring those legs in, bend them. You're going to interlock those hands behind those thighs. We're going to do a seated cat. You're rounding back, tilting the chin. And lift, drop those shoulders down and back, head and neck dog. Again, deep breath, exhale, round back. And roll it up, drop those shoulders down and back. Now I'm going to cross my legs. If you're uncomfortable with that, you can sit in another way. Sitting as tall as you can, bring that right arm across. Hug it in with the left, look to the right. You're getting a stretch for that shoulder. Look forward, take that right arm up and back. You could hold behind the arm or over the elbow. We're stretching the back of that arm, sitting nice and tall. Release, you're going to interlace those hands, but behind, roll those shoulders down and back, opening out chest, shoulders, and arms.
release. Now you can remain here or switch the cross to the legs. You're gonna bring that left arm across, hug it in with that right arm, look to your left. Look forward, take that left arm up and over. Once again, you can hold behind the arm or over the elbow, sit tall, make sure you're not slouching. Release in, release those hands behind, shoulders down and back, head and neck tall. And most important stretch of the day. Give it a hug and a pat on the back. You did a wonderful job. I hope to see you again soon.